This is film number two of the family. Film number one was very much of mom and dad in the real, real early part of their lives. And mama and daddy's side of the family. Now, this will be, oh, in the 19, probably 19, late 1920s, 1930s. And 1940s, most most of the time being will be before Dad's death in 1947. This is picture of Mom and Dad taken on July the 18th, 1930. This is at Ocean View, Virginia. This is a home on 1206 Charles Street in Fredericksburg, home that we moved in early 1930s. I'm not taking the pictures as they were taken. There's so many and they're so mixed up, so we'll take them just as they come, regardless of what year they was taken. But this is this is the second. Uh, VCR disc that reel I'm taping on. This is a picture of Dad. He had taken when he not long after he started working for State Farm Mutual Insurance Company. He had a a whole slew of ink blotters printed up with his name and picture on it. So this is a picture really off of a old ink blotter. This is dead in the mid 1940s after after he had his his stroke. This is, this is dead on the front porch of the house with his little Red cockers found them called Rusty. This is a group picture taken in the backyard. We lived on Charles Street. Left to right standing is Naomi McGinnis and Dorothy has her head underneath the Marguerite's arm. There's Marguerite and the next person in the background, I can't see who the, that is. Then there's Mary Wheat and Mary Ella. And on the kneel on the ground left to right is Ardelia, Mama, and then there's Genevieve and Francis. That's mom and daddy in our backyard there on Charles Street. Now this picture is taken about 19, oh, 34, 35. That's Gilbert, myself, and Freed.
make sure I've got the right, let me get this picture again. Left to right, that's Freed, Daddy, Mama, myself, and Gilbert. Jack, Marguerite, Ardelia, and Ruth. Maybe I've got it right this time. Now this picture was taken in front of the house on Charles Street about 1944. That's Freed, Mama, Mabel, Edna, and Marguerite, and Steady down in front. But 12, 12, 14 years after we moved away from a home there on Charles Street, Mama went back around there and had her picture taken in front of the house. She always fussed about that big barn of a house, but she loved that old home. That's a picture of a dad and mother in 1930. Not long after, too long after they moved there on Charles Street. From left to right, that's Marguerite, Mary Wheat, and Mama, and Barbara stand right beside, back of Mama, Freed, Mabel, and Rosemary. This is another family picture taken June 1940. And the, on the back row, that's Gilbert, Freed, Jack, and myself. On the front row, that's Daddy, Mama, Marguerite, Ardelia, and Ruth. I was taking them in the driveway at the side of the house on Charles Street. This was February the 20th, 1942. That's Freed, myself, and Jack standing back of Mom and Daddy. That's taken in the backyard on Charles Street. This is taken around the table at home in, in February 1943. On the left, it's Mabel, little Barbara, granddaddy. And stand at the head of the table is Margaret, I dig in Mama, and Daddy at the head of the table. Then at the upper right corner is Gilbert. And the next three people I don't recognize. And then just showing the edge of her face at the edge of the picture is Dot. Gilbert's daughter Dot Dorothy Wheat Jones. Now this is taken February 1943. Uh, it's Gilbert. Daddy, Dot, Bonnie, and Granddaddy Wheat. That's the five generations of the Wheat family in one picture. This is a studio proof picture. We had three proof pictures made. All, all three of them are similar. This is the, probably the best one of the three, so there's the only one I'm going to show. Standing left to right in the back is Free is Gilbert, Freed, myself and Jack, and Margaret, Hardy, and Ruth. This this is another studio proof picture of the five generations of the wheats. Left to right is Gilbert, Dorothy, 
and Daddy and Little Bonnie and Granddaddy. This must have been hot July weather because all of us peel off our shirts. Left to right, that's me, Gilbert, Jack, and Fred. This is taken on my first vacation in August 1938. This was uh, taken at an amusement park at Thermont, Thermont, Maryland. That's Mama in the foreground, and sitting on the steps is Charming Weddell, my great great niece, and I'm sitting on the right, back of Mama. But this is a, just a one of those cheap pictures taken at an amusement park there in Thermont. This is a, a picture of Dad, probably in the sometime in the 1930s. This is another picture of Dad in the 1930s. Dad, I always, the first time I ever seen Dad out, they didn't have a a suit on. Wore a vest quite often, but he most always wore a suit and most always wore a hat. This is my brother Gilbert on the left, and Mama's brother, Uncle Frank, on the right. And both of them at that time was wearing hard dome top derbies. That's taken in the early 1930s. There's a picture of Mama and Jack. Jack was just a small boy. This is a dad when we lived over in Stafford Old Greenway Farm. That's a picture of the old car that we come up from Hilton Village to Freshburg in when we moved from up to, Fr uh, to Stafford and Greenway. That's an old Vealey car. That's uh, sitting up on the hood is Clyde Hurston and Greta Baines. And sitting on the bumper is Adelia and Cecil Baines, before she married. There was nine of us come up in that car from Newport News and about 15 to 20 miles south of Fredericksburg. We turned over in it, turned over in the down the embankment. That picture of Granddaddy and Daddy on Charles Street in the early 1930s.
this is a, a studio proof of taking of the five generations in the wheat family. It's Gilbert on the left, granddaddy and daddy, and in front is Dorothy and Bonnie. It's Dorothy Jones and Bonnie Hardy. That's a picture of Ardelia and an old milk cow Daisy over in, we lived over in Stafford at Greenway Farm. There's a pic This is in the backyard we lived on Charles Street in in nineteen forty four. Front row left to right is Marguerite, Idea and Ruth. And the back row is Mabel, Rosemary, and Nedna. This is our home, and we lived on uh, you know, on Charles Street in Fredericksburg. Now this is a picture of. The old Vila car we come from Hilton Village to at the Fredericksburg Inn. This happened this picture was taken right after right after we turned over the embankment and off the road. Uh had to get old farm with two with a, two pairs of mules and log chains to ride the car and and uh pull it back upon the road. Mom went over the bush and changed her dress because she was laying in the car, but the water was in that side of the car. You can see mud on the back door and running board back of Mama on the front seat. That's before we load the car back up with the nine of us and all our junk to continue our trip. This is after moved into into town from Owen Stafford. This is in the yard on was then 1211 Main Street. It's Caroline Street now. It's mom and daddy in the side yard. This is another picture taken on Main Street in the backyard that's Mommy in front and Aunt Nancy in the back. You see the Fredericksburg Elementary School on the far right. This is apparently a sales meeting at J.C. Penney where Marguerite worked. This is has been taken back in the part of the. 1930s, because there's on the far right that's Marguerite, and next to her is Lydie Bennett and uh, Donna Pellington and Mrs. Brown. I don't know who the, the can't remember the boy's name is on the far left. And the girl between Mrs. Bennett and Mrs. Brown, I said Donald Pelham, but I'm wrong. I, that was before Donald Pelham's time. I don't know who that is.
this is a, stu a studio picture to really a proof that we had some pictures made up. And they must have been from mom and dad. But stand on the fact that Gilbert and Freed, myself, and Jack and on the front row is Marguerite, R.D., and Ruth. That picture must have been taken in the late 30s, 1930s. This is a, a large picture. That is too large to, to get the, the whole picture on the camera, so I, I take top of, just top of his hat off and get him from the and shoulders up with the that's a picture of dead must have been taken in the nineteen thirties. Um, this is the the same picture I'm holding it out from the from the camera. It's not it's playing a picture but that that is a the picture before that. This is a picture of Mom and Dad on Charles Street. I judge this is taken probably in the late 1930s. This is a picture of Mom and Dad in the living room that's on Charles Street. This was taken in 1935, about the graduation time, high school graduation time. On on the left, that's that's Dallas Foster, and Freed, and Robert Brown, and Alvin Chubb Sullivan. This is an, another good picture of, of Daddy. That's probably taken in the late late 1930s or early 1940s. This is Mama and Marguerite. I don't know where the where or when that picture was taken. This was taken in 1939. This is Mama with Jack's Captain Grant graduation Captain gown on, taken June 1939 on Charles Street. This was taken at some beach. I don't know whether it's Ferry Beach or Colonial Beach. And the, the adults left the right is is Barbara. Now I don't know who the one in the next to Barbara, unless that would be Jenna. But there's I'm gonna start this picture over again. I was trying to figure out who was definitely on the the adults there is, is Barbara and I think that is a, a day leaning forward. And Mabel in the center in the back and Ruth. And I believe the two people in the far right hand corner is Dot and Gibb. And the two children in the front must be Bunny and uh, Buddy. The 
Now this is Mary Wheat. She lived with us for oh, quite quite some time. And this must have been taken back in the possibly the early 1930s. This is Naomi McGinnis. She lived with us for a long, long time. Mama used quite often had people that room and boarded with her and Naomi worked to become a ward and she lived with us for years and years. I don't think I had that on before. This is Frances McGinnis, Naomi's sister. She lived with us quite a while, not near as long as Naomi did. And she runs the uh, accredited association now, and Rosemary Jack's wife works for her. This this is another picture of Mary Wheat. She was just a few minutes ago. She's uh, my daddy's brother's daughter, Edgar Wheat's daughter. This is a picture of Mama taken back in the 1930s when it was a little, we call them ping pong machines, little machines at Woolsworth that takes real small pictures. This is a picture of Mama and Gilbert. It was taken in 1950. This was taken in 1946. I don't know definitely where this was taken at, but Mama had either sat down or had fallen down in the snow, apparently in someone's driveway. I don't know who that is in the background. This is Daddy and Marguerite is taken February the 22nd, 1932, George Washington's birthday. That's Dad in Rust in 1945, that's Dad had the stroke. You see Mama stand on the left, just just a uh, fur little is on the picture. This is dead in front of the house in night I don't know exactly what the day that, that is. This is old DeSoto in the, in the background. That's a car I wrecked. On the on a wreck I was ever involved in. <clears throat> this is Mama and Ardelia in 1946. I don't know where it was taken. It's, it's wintertime because you see it's, it's snow on the ground. This is mom and dad in the front yard on Charles Street, taken in October 1945. It's mom and dad and dad's home. This little red cocker spinal called Rusty. This is a picture of Mama taken in March 1945. I know that long dress, I, 
she must have been going to church for some special type of meeting because I don't think that's one of her. I'm sure it's not one of her regular dresses. One of the old fashioned ones I think she had. This is another picture of Daddy and his little brown red cocker spaniel Rusty. It's taken on the side yard down Charles Street. This picture isn't very plain. I don't know where it was taken. Probably some beach because that's Gilbert and Mount both in, in bathing suits. So I don't know where that was taken at. This is a picture of Mama taken in 1943, October 1943. This is Mama and Daddy taken in 1943 on Charles Street. Dad and Adi taken on Easter in 1942 on Charles Street. This is back in the 30s. We always, when we had a visiting minister, held a revival. They all stayed at our home, so that's. Reverend Watson from Martinsburg, Mama's old home church. He was holding a revival meeting, and that's Mama. And that, I don't know the man's name, but one of his elders come down to visit him while he was here. Reverend Watson's uh, wife apparently had passed away because he brought his teenage, young teenage daughter with him and stayed at home during the revival meeting. This is Mama and Jack taking on one of those little ping pong pictures that they took at Woolworth. That must have been back in the early, real early 1930s. And there's a picture of Dad on one of those little ping pong pictures. This is Mama standing in the backyard of a house down on Main Street. When we first moved there, they had the old hospital was standing there. They tore the hospital down part of it down and moved the rest way on and replaced the building and built a new hospital there on the same location and they took 20 foot of our backyard in for the hospital so that's where you can see the fence up close the fence originally was only about two foot from the from the the building and the, well, the second floor of the, of the hospital building, that was the operating room. But you could look out of uh, our bedroom window, and especially if you got up on the kitchen roof, you could look right down in the operating room uh, while it's operating, because then the windows, they always had the shades up or no shades at all on the in the operating room. This picture was taken sometime before the previous picture. When Mom was standing in the backyard. You could you can see the hospital in the in the background, and they hadn't hadn't taken the the shrubbery and bushes down at the yard and moved the fence up. That's Trixie. 
dog tied in the there on the walk. This picture was taken approximately the same place the other two last two pictures taken. The hospital was just an, under construction in this picture. That's Marguerite Packer mother. And that's Jack standing in front of her mama in the side yard on Main Street. This is Lucille Tigner, girl that worked downtown that room and boarded with us for oh, quite some months. That's mom in the backyard on down on Main Street. And that bucket there in right back of mama was a quince tree. And mama had just picked a bucket of quinces to make some quince preserves when that picture was taken. Because when, when they took the yard in they cut the old quince tree down. This picture was taken December 1942 before Jack and I went in the Army. That's Mama on the far left, Marguerite, myself, Edna. <clears throat> this is a picture of Mama taken in the, about the mid-1920s. This is a picture of the five generations in the Wheat family. There's Granddaddy, which is the oldest. He was about 96 when that picture was taken, 95 or 96 years old. And that's Bonnie Jones the youngest. And there's Bonnie's mother, Dorothy Wheat Jones, right back of grandfather. And that's her father, Gilbert Wheat, on the left. And Dorothy's grandfather, Wilbur Wheat, and my dad on the right. This is Dad sitting in his easy chair in the corner of the living room in front of the radio. Dad would have really loved TV. He never saw it, but he, the radio, he really loved the radio, especially with wasn't movies, with stories on that Dad would set up 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning and listen to, to stories on the on the radio. Dad did love the movies. He went to the movies at least once a week. But uh, at home, he, there was no things television then, so he really enjoyed the radio. This is Dad on Charles Street holding Barbara in his arms and his little uh, red cocker spaniel named Rusty is sitting in front of him. This is taken after that had his his stroke in the mid 1940s. His old brother Newman, Reverend Hunter Newman, and I, I ministered for 37 years. He was the one that baptized. Jack, Fried, and I.
one of the greatest one of the greatest preachers I ever heard. This is Gilbert on the left, Mom and Daddy. It's taken in the fall of nineteen forty six. This is a real old picture taken in the early 1920s, right to move from Hilton Village to Greenway and Stafford. And one of our neighbors and their family from uh, Hilton Village visited us over Greenway. And this is us children sitting on the, on the uh, front porch steps. In the back, left to right, that's Freed and Lewis Savage. In the front row, left to right is that's uh, Jack, Dot, Dorothy, Wheat, Jones, Eloise Savage, and myself. That's taken by 1923 or 24, somewhere along in there. This is Ruth, Marguerite, and Adelia. I don't know where this was taken, it must have been at a beach on vacation because Margaret would never be in shorts up unless she was in a place like that. This is, this is Mama and Daddy in, in our backyard. This is Dad sitting on the fender of his old DeSoto car. This is Mom and Dad in front of the house on Charles Street. Look at Mama got half a day out of the broom. <laughs> This, two of those little ping pong pictures used to get down Woolsworth of Mama. I judge this is back in the early 1930s. And this is four of those little ping pong pictures of Daddy, probably taken in the, back in the early 30s at uh, down at Woolworth. Those two on the right is, uh, I believe, the only picture I've ever seen taken of Dad without his glasses on. But Dad always wears glasses. This is Marguerite, Ruth, and Ardelia. It's taken someplace along a resort area. It looks kind of like it may be somewhere down south because it looks like it's some type of palm leaves in the background. That's Dad and Mama 
in the backyard. We lived on Charles Street. Someone standing on the porch shading eye, her eyes. I don't know who that is. <clears throat> this is a Judge Smith studio picture of mom. I don't know when that was probably taken in the probably in the early thirties, nineteen thirties. This was taken in 1933. That's Jack, myself, and Freed. This was taken in 1936. On the Left to right, right on the front row, that's Jack, Marguerite, Idea, and Ruth. And on the back row is Freed, Daddy, Mama, myself, and Gilbert. This was taken May the 19th. 1947, after Daddy's funeral, this was taken to Oak Hill Cemetery. This is Mama at the cemetery right after we had uh, the headstone set up after Daddy's funeral. This is Mama visiting Dad's grave with a with a basket of of flowers. This is a another picture of Mama at uh, at Dad's grave. So the home there on Charles Street, Mom and Margaret and I did move to then a small apartment on uh, Hanover Street. But that was very poor setup, so they had an apartment on the 1200 block of Prince Edward Street, and that's where this is taken. That's Mama and Margaret in the front. And Idea and Ruth in the back. That's in the living room and part on Prince Edward Street. This is Marguerite and Mama and Idea in the living room and on, in the apartment on Prince Edward Street. That is uh, Gilbert come down for a visit, and that's Mama, when we lived on Mama and Margaret and I did, lived on Prince Edward Street. The old home that Mama and Margaret and I did had an apartment in on Prince Edward Street was beautifully. Uh, laid out real high ceilings and the windows was arched, big fireplace. It was a beautiful old home that they had the apartment in. That's Mama sitting reading in the apartment. Uh, after Dad's death, it looked like when any of us children was around with a camera, we took, I always took Mama's pictures, so I have all some 
maybe 40 or more pictures, and most of them will be of Mama. This is uh, Mama and Marguerite. In fact, quite a few visits to me at Camp Lee when I first went in service. This is taken somewhere down at Camp Lee, Virginia. After Dad's death, most after Dad's death, death most every year, some of us would take Mama someplace on a vacation. Most often it was Mark and Nadia, whether it was with uh, the rest of the family, like Fred and Mabel, uh, Gilbert and Barbara. Uh, they usually went either to the beach or some some resort, and this is a D and Margaret and Mama somewhere on on a vacation. Apparently, Gilbert and Barbara was along on the wherever they was at because that's Gilbert and Mama taken in the same place that the previous picture was taken. That's a picture of Mama somewhere on on the trip of vacation. And Mama always enjoyed wherever she went, and she always tried to fit in with whatever activity was going on and so this is Mama in a bathing suit somewhere on on a vacation in the south somewhere. This is another another picture of the of the same setting wherever there was a vacation, yeah. Another picture of the same, in the same setting. I don't know exactly where that was. And this is Mama at some resort area up on a hobby horse. This. Mama, some, some old park, park probably is one of the national parks in the in the area up or up and down the east coast somewhere. This is a day, Mom and Margaret. I don't know where that is. There's still a little information. Uh, most of them no information at all on these pictures, so I don't know where or the where they was taken or, or when they was taken. That's another picture of Mama's print taken at the at, at some park. A museum, but there's, there's no information on the picture exactly where that was taken. Yet. Soon after they built the home on Winchester Street, somebody gave Mama a little canary. That's in her bedroom. The canary is perched up on her head. This is Mary Wheat. That is Brother Edgar's only daughter. 
She lived with us for a long time when we lived on Charles Street. She passed away several years ago. She worked in McCormick Ward for most of her life. This is a day on the telephone and Mom and Marguerite in the kitchen dining area. See, Mom has her little canary cage up over her head. This is on Winchester Street. That's Mom on the steps and uh, one of Daddy's cousins from up in Pennsylvania or Maryland. There's, I don't, can't remember her name. That's Mama on the right, and Dad's cousin. I can't say. I don't know what her name is in the center. Then that's her daughter on the left. There's no, no information on these pictures at all. And Mom is visited again by another one of Daddy's relatives. And for the life of me, I just don't know who she is. It's Mom on the left. Lady on the right, I just can't place her. This is a picture, picture of Mama taken up in Martinsburg at Aunt Maddie and Uncle George's side yard. Mama playing something in the corner cabinet in the kitchen there on Winchester Street. I'm on the on the steps going down the front porch on home on Winchester Street. This is Mama standing in the side yard at the house on Winchester Street. That door goes into the basement, basement way, goes straight down the basement steps. Oh, by the way, this is July the 3rd, 1992, and yesterday the real estate man called and said that for sure he had a sale for the house. So I'm putting that on tape now. I hope it's true. Left the camera while I changed pictures that time. That's a picture of Mama in somebody's yard. I don't know. That large tree, shade tree, uh, uh, is really, really beautiful. I don't know if I can. I'll try to dig it down so you can see it in the distance. There it is. As I said before, Mama always enjoyed. Joining in the fun across the window, and so this is one Halloween that Mom and I did dressed up to go Halloweening. On the left, that's Adelia. In the set, sound that's Mildred Houghton. And on the right, that's Mama. They're getting ready to go downtown. Your mom was getting ready to go to a, a social and a church. <clears throat> this was another Halloween. Mama dressed up, and when she dressed up, she went always went downtown, just as she was. She got a great kick out of out of. Uh, of Halloween. 
on one of the trips or vacations, they, they must all went to some amusement park because there's R.D. and Mama. Got the picture taken as, as, as two convicts. Marguerite worked at Penis and Penis is a historical city. They had a big promotion where all the employees wore old fashioned dresses, so Marguerite had this dress, dress made for her to wear to work. And this is Mom with Marguerite's dress on. This is another picture taken with. Mama in Marguerite's dress. And this is another picture of Mama with Marguerite's dress. These pictures were taken in 1957. This is Mom taken in, in the backyard there at the home on Winchester Street. This was taken in 1952. It was a, apparently a J.C. Penney Christmas party because it was taken December the 19th, 1952. And in the center standing on the right is Marguerite, next to her is Mom, and I, I don't know who the rest of the people are in, in that picture. But that's the J.C. Penny Christmas party. This was taken, I don't know where, on one of the girls' tours someplace But that, that's Marguerite on the right, Ruth, Mama, and Adi, and I don't know the two women in white on the left. But there must be some historical building someplace. And that's Mama and Gilbert on Davenport as on Winchester Street. <clears throat> this was taken to Allen Spring Recreational Park here in Fredericksburg. This was on Mama's birthday, but I can't remember now what birthday it would be. This is the same birthday, and uh, all seven of us children was living then. I'm the only one left of the group now. That's Jack on the left, in the back, I'm next, and Freed, then Gilbert. Then on the left, that's Ruth, Adi, and Marguerite. And that's Mama sitting down in front. And this is Mama getting ready to open her birthday presents. See, I don't have any idea what birthday that was. Was before 1970. This is Mama and Gilbert. This is Mama having a little fun. She's got Gilbert across her knee. She 
She could do that in really a minute too. This is mom in the kitchen there on Winchester Street. She always called that house her little cracker box. She had always been used to living in such a big barns of a house and then to move in a, a little small four-room house was kind of, she said it kind of closed in on her sometimes. That's a D and Mama and Margaret in the living room there on Winchester Street. That was taken not too long after they had the house built and moved in. Had a little doll baby in our room, in our bedroom, and they had to take a picture with it sitting out on the back porch. That was right after they moved there because the porch hadn't been screened in yet. Mama, Mama and Margarita Vincent Summons home is Margarita on the left and Mama on the far right and I don't know whose home it is or who that young lady is in the center. This is a, a picture model. It's a studio proof she had taken in the later years. This is another proof picture was taken at the same time. Mama. This is a picture of Mama laying on the bed with she has a little doll baby on, on the bed. I don't know if I showed this picture before or not in our bedroom. This is Mama standing down to for the steps of the sidewalk in front of the house. Don't think that picture come out real plain. This is Mama sitting in the living room house on uh, Winchester Street. This was taken in her her latter years. This is Mama talking on the telephone. She had a bottle of spirits in the hand. Ha! <laughs> ah, they was horsing around but the little bottle of whiskey they had at the house. This is Mama Christmas of 1960. This is Mama standing in the backyard of his home Winchester Street. This is Mama standing in front of her China cabinet of faces. She loved faces and she collected oh just oodles of them. She had so many in the China cabinet in the living room.
this is when we're sitting in the living room this during the Christmas season of 1960. In 1959, pardon me. And she was mom with the china can in the, uh, with her vase in the background. This is taken in the, in the early part of 1960s. I'm in the living room. Let's see her. China cabinet of vases in the in the background. This another picture I'm taking in the living room. Living room, but at the same time uh, the last few pictures were taken. This is uh, mom and dad and grandfather's uh, grave site. This is taken by 1970. This is a day at the cemetery, east of, ni east of 1971. This is two pictures of we've showed several times before, but it's a mom and dad together. We're going to a different phase of pictures now. I'll show these. This is a picture that I've shown before, but I have them together this time. That's uh, Granddad and Grandma Wheat. That's Henry Clifton Wheat and Clarabelle Horner Wheat. That is mother and father. And this is Mama's mother and father. Uh, Familiar Pingley shots and Franklin shots. This is Marguerite uh, with a, a native Hawaiian Margaret Margarita. Dear Ruth and Peggy took a vacation to Hawaii, and this is Marguerite with one of the one of the natives. Most pictures from now on will be taken of Marguerite and Adelia after mother's death, from then through the rest of their lives. So. Uh, there may be a few other pictures scattered in there, but this will be mostly of Marguerite and Adelia. This is Adelia with the same native Hawaiian while they was on vacation in Hawaii. This is Marguerite at, at, her, at her retirement from J.C. Penney's. I don't know, I know the faces of so many of them, but I don't know the names of but a few on there. Uh, in the front row, uh, second from the right is who? Pardon me. <clears throat> yes, second from the right is Gaynell Cox, and the third from the right is is Marguerite, and. The woman in the second, second row, the, the first woman on the right is uh, Mrs. Paul. And I can't remember the names of the rest of the people on that picture. This 
this is a group taking up home. It's uh, on the front row and it's left to right is Freed and Gilbert. The, the second row is Aunt Virginia, Big Barbara, Mary Wheat, and Mary Wheat's niece. Uh, Virgil's only daughter. In the back row it's Mabel, Ruth, Ardelia, and Marguerite. That's me sitting up me sitting up in Lim Room at the house on Winchester Street with Ardelia's little dog and I can't remember what the little dog's name was. He's a mean little rascal, anyhow. This is a, a vacation time for some of the family. Things take 1960. I, well, I can't, can't make the date, I don't know what, it, but it's a group picture. Some of the family on vacation, starting from left to right. That's uh, Ruth, Marguerite, and Big Barbara sitting beside Marguerite. Can't see her face. Then Little Barbara and Mabel and Freed and Jimmy. Cardelia and Peggy. And sitting down front that's Billy and Jay and Susan. This is taken nineteen sixty seven when the girls went on vacation up north. This is taken in Quebec, Canada. That's Ruth. Marguerite and Ardelia. This is taken 1979 out at Alum Spring. That's Ardelia, Marguerite, myself, and Ruth. This is Marguerite, 1965, holding Frisky in her arms in, on Winchester Street. This, this is our day in 1965, in the backyard holding Frisky. And that's Frisky, 1965. I did really didn't love her dog, and so did Marguerite. This is Christmas idea had a broken wrist. Now, I don't remember what year that was. That that's when idea had our broken wrist. This was a Christmas 1970. This is a day Christmas in 1965. This is Marguerite Christmas in 1965. This is 
This is a day of Christmas in 1966. This is Christmas in 1969 in the basement there on Winchester Street. That's uh, right to left, that's uh, Carol and Kenny. I don't know the boy sitting beside Kenny. There's Jimmy standing in the back and Peggy in front of him with a hand up to her face and Jay and Ruth. That's I.D. and Margaret. Marguerite. They must be having some kind of big leg because I see the stack of paper plates and stuff on the table. <clears throat> this is winter of 1965-66. I did it falling down in the snow in the front yard down Winchester Street. <clears throat> this is the same snow in 1965 66. Ruth coming up the steps that has on Winchester Street. She has I did his little dog in her arms. This is a same snow. They just cleaned the walk off and see I.D.'s car down on the curb. Just look like it's almost completely covered with snow. This is Marguerite and Old Frisky, taken in December of 1973. This Marguerite and Mabel and Adia taking Christmas in 1978. This is Marguerite and I can't make out what year this Christmas time, what, what year this is. This idea, Christmas 1974. This is Marguerite Christmas of 1974. This idea, 1973, December the 31st. Send and they're getting ready to watch the old year and the new year in. <clears throat> this is Ruth Morgan Idea, Christmas 1973. Morgan's fixing a, a layout for the New Year's part of that at the house for. This is December the 31st, 1973. I don't know what Christmas this is, but as the day on the Christmas tree got a little puppy sitting underneath the Christmas tree. I can't remember that little puppy's name. This is the day in the backyard of the home on Winchester Street in 19, January 1975. This idea is sitting in the living room. This is taken January the 2nd, 1978. It's sitting there with a, a broken wrist. That's Marguerite in the I caught on Winchester Street after she broke her shoulder. This was a get together for 
Margaret's 80th birthday. Left to right of Adelia, Jack, Marguerite, Ruth, and myself. This idea with a, a little puppy dog, taken January 1978. That's an, another picture of D taken with a little puppy dog, taken in December 1970. This is taken on Dorothy's front porch when she lived on Virginia Avenue in, in uh, Martinsburg. Left to right, that Ruth, and that's Mary Wheat, and Dorothy, and then Marguerite is sitting with the back to the wall there, and then that's Catherine Falk, and Emma's oldest daughter. This was probably this was probably taken to one of Marguerite Nadia's. Sunday afternoon layouts. Left to right is is me, Ruth, Mabel, Mary Wheat, and Susan Standen. This is apparently another one of the girls layouts there on Winchester Street. Left to right is that's me. Susan, Ruth, June, and Mabel. This could possibly be one of the last group pictures of, of all of us brothers and sisters had taken together. I don't know exactly the date of it. I don't can't find any any newer pictures in this. That's Jack, me. Freed and Gilbert, Ruth, R.D., and Marguerite. That's taken in the backyard there on uh, Winchester Street. This is taken in some beach resort area. That's uh, left to right. This Ruth, Marguerite, Barbara. Ardelia, Mabel, and Fred. This was taken in 1965. I don't know exactly where, but that's to write this Ruth, Barbara, and Gilbert, and Marguerite. And I can't tell, but I judge that's Ardelia on the far right here. That's a D in 1966. That's Marguerite in the living room at Winchester Street. And I think she's given that big vase of yellow roses at her retirement party, I wouldn't say for sure. <clears throat> this was taken there front yard in 1965. Cecil just come home from leave from the Navy. As Adelia, Cecil, and Marguerite. That's the D in front of the house there on Winchester Street. That's a day in 19, a day in, in Milton McGinnis in 1965. This is 1965 too. That's a Margaret, Big Barbara, Milton McGinnis, and Ruth. <clears throat> That's the idea of crocheting a multicolored African. That's 
That's the day in 1965. That's Marguerite in 1966. That's the day in Margaret others on some trip in some motel room in 1966. This is <coughs> Ruth, R.D., and Margaret. Probably was on some trip, vacation someplace. I don't recognize the place. <coughs> this is Christmas in 1966. They had a kind of a Christmas family get together and in the uh, Basement family room of Aunt Dean and dies on Winchester Street. I have four pictures taken down there. And this one is taken from from right to left. Uh, it's uh, Ruth and Peggy and Mabel, and Rosemary, and Pam. And this is another picture taken down for Christmas 1966. This picture is from uh, right to left. Wait a minute. Hold just the phone just a minute. Yeah, from right, right to left. It's uh, Marguerite, Mabel, Gilbert, Freed, and Jack. And this is from right to left V. Mabel, Pam, Rosemary, me, Edna, and Marguerite. This is still in the same group of pictures it's from right to left. Be Pam, June, Billy, Jay, Kenny, and Edna. And I don't know who those two are with the back to the camera in the lower right. This is a picture of Adelia taken in 1970. This is Marguerite in 1965. That's Mary Wheat, our first cousin. That's a picture, another picture of Marguerite. 
I love their hats. This is Marguerite on the left and Katie Houghton on the right. I don't know where that was taken at. This is Marguerite taken in 1971. Another picture Murray taken in the backyard on Winchester Street. Picture Murray and Nadia. The guy getting ready to hit the hay. This this was taken up at the Gilton Barbers in the dining room from left to right is Marguerite, Dot, and me. And then standing is Bonnie holding Chris and Glenn. Then there's Ruth, and there's Gilbert standing, and then there's Jack and Rosemary and Patty and Barbara, Big Barbara. This is Marguerite, 1973. She's going to get ready to go to church. That's our day, I don't know, don't know exactly when that was taken. That's Marguerite, Ruth, and Ardelia. That's taken somewhere on the ship because you see the large palm trees in the background. The Marguerite in 1967. That's a picture of Ardelia. I don't know. Who when that was taken. So many of them don't have dates or anything written on the pictures. I read 1973. This is Marguerite in 1967. This is Marguerite and Ardelia and that's Mary Wheat sitting in the chair in the front. Marguerite with Frisky sitting on the arm of the chair, arm of the Davenport. This is Marguerite Ruth and Adia, apparently on one of their trips. This is a day to print on some trip or resort area. This is Mildred McGinnis and a day picking oranges in Bradenton, Florida. This is 1970. This is the out in front of Singer. Uh, place where she worked, apparently during the holiday season. This is in 1965, I think probably on one of the vacation trips at one of the amusement parks or vacation spots. This is a day with Two little puppets she brought home which come back off of vacation in 1969. 
the one on the left is the little black dog that uh, June and I took. We called called her Love. I don't know what, what the name of the other dog, and I did keep it for a while, but it was too much dog for that little yard. We had Love for uh, well, a number of years, and a nice little black dog. This is a day in the mar in Margarita at the kitchen sink, washing and drying dishes. This is a day in the backyard plant, the little black dog that she brought home. Which I brought love home. Uh, this is another picture of a day in Bradenton, Florida, in 1973. This is a vacation in, that took in 1967, and from left to right. That's June, Marguerite, Ardelia, and Ruth. June went with them that year on the vacation. This is a day in Frisky. In little room, room on Davenport, Winchester Street. That's the day in front of the house on Winchester Street. Looked like she's trying to do the Hawaiian dance there. This is Marguerite holding the little dog of our days. I can't remember the little dog's name anymore. This is Marguerite in a day in 1973. This is a day in 1965. This is Christmas 1985. I did. She didn't have a puppy dog, so she bought a little black puppy dog made of iron. So that's her little puppy dog. Christmas 1985. This picture was taken November the 30th, 1969. That was a day I did uh, retired. This is Christmas of 1966. It's I did Margaret in front of the Christmas tree. Penis had a retirement dinner for Marguerite when she retired. And this was November 1965. This is before she left home for the retirement party. This is at the retirement party. I don't know very many people there by name. That's uh, Marguerite Standing and Mrs. Bennett, Lady Bennett setting it in the table, but that must be the store manager, but I don't know what his name is. That's uh, Margaret opened one of her retirement gifts that, that they give her at the, at the party. Margaret worked for pennies over 40 years. This is another picture of Marguerite and the store manager in the background. This is an, another picture of Marguerite, but some of the employees of Marguerite and the son in the blue dress. <clears throat> gave, gave Marguerite a set of luggage. So that's a going away present for her to take a long vacation after working so many years with J.C. Penney. <clears throat> this is Marguerite. Tona Beach at 
Lois Bianchi's home, she's Alva's, Alice's first cousin. And that's uh, little Alva Bianchi there. That's Alva's second cousin. That's Lois's youngest daughter. This is Marguerite, 1978, in the living room on Winchester Street. This is a day in Frisco, who was at Folly Beach at Charleston, South Carolina, for a vacation. This is Marguerite. Peggy and Ruth, someplace on the trip. This is another trip there's on the left, right there. So, let's see, part of a day on the sliding board, then there's Marguerite, and there's Pig Barber with the head. Look like resting on Marguerite's shoulder and Ruth on the sliding board and Mildred McGinnis sitting in the chair. So he's sitting at the table at home on Winchester Street. This is a picture of Mary Wheaton in Martinsburg, I think it's taken on Virginia Avenue down where Dot used to live. This is Martin Margaret at the home on Winchester Street. The this is Marguerite and our day in Mill McGinnis at Wilkerson's at rest, seafood restaurant at Colonial Beach. This is Marguerite and me, just for Sunday school one Sunday morning. This is June, myself and Marguerite, just for going to Sunday school on one Sunday morning. When June lived there, I used to go always, always go around and pick them up to, to go to Sunday school on the car. A little black dog love had a whole litter of little puppies. And this is Marguerite I'm mean, Adia and Margaret got a whole arm full of them. I don't know how many they have there, but they have a whole arm full of little puppies there. This is Marguerite in the backyard there on Winchester Street. This is Marguerite in the front yard there on Winchester Street when the trees just begin to, to turn the colors in the fall. This is another picture of June, myself, and Marguerite just before going to Sunday school. Picture of Dee holding Frisco on the lap there on the side steps at home on Winchester Street. This is Marguerite and Frisky in the living room. This is Marguerite, I mean, Dee and Marguerite in 1974.
This is 1965. I don't know where this was taken at, but that's Marguerite and Adia, Adia and Frisky and Ruth and Peggy and some elderly lady there. I don't know who that is. I don't know where the picture was taken. This is another picture of Marguerite all dressed up. This is Marguerite, 1964. Looks like she's dressed up ready to go to Sunday school. She really loved her hats. This is Marguerite and Adi, an old frisky dog. Frisky dog died. Adi had a... Oh, Adi took it really hard because... Well, Marguerite did too, but they had the dog for so long. And it was cold winter weather and the ground was frozen hard and Adi didn't want to... want to get some coughing or something put the dog in, so... She asked me to make something, but I didn't have, I was working, didn't have time to make something, so I ran home and got in the metal toolbox and painted it white and, and put a, a blanket in it and wrote Frisky's name on it and I buried it in the backyard back of the garage. This was taken in 1965, that's Marguerite, and it's possible I did hold frisky, but it doesn't look like Adia's face could be. Weird. This was taken in 1965, that's Adia, Marguerite, Big Barber, Milda McGinnis, and Ruth. This was taken in 1965. It's Ruth, Big Barbara, Gilbert, Marguerite, and Milton McGinnis. This thing around on Winchester Street is look like a gang there for a layout. <clears throat> From left to right, that'd be Marguerite, Mabel, Mary, Mary Wheat, Ardelia, Freed, Aunt Virginia, and Aunt Mabel, and Barbara, Big Barbara, and Gilbert. This is a picture taken in 1966. I don't know whether this was a Virginia Beach in here. It was a vacation for quite a few of the crew. And this is on the steps of their apartment place where they stayed. So it, I start on the top, at the top. That's a barber, big barber, and Jimmy and Freed, and Mabel, and then there's Little Barbara, there's Marguerite, and Ruth, and Peggy, and Jay. They're standing on the steps, and Adia is peeping through the banisters, parts way down on the steps, and down towards the bottom of the steps, there's Billy and Susan looking through the banisters, or just over top of the banisters. This about finished up the second reel on the whole wheat family. I, we have at least one more reel to go. I, I'll try to break down some of the, some into families now of the of the children of my brother and sister and myself.
So this is all on this reef.